Okay, y'all. I know it's been a while and you can't see my face and that's okay. Because today Sally's not into showing her face. But it's about the crock pot. I am telling you, y'all. I got an email today from Kroger about buying the crock pot. They had crock pots and Instapots on sale today at Kroger. I don't know how long this, their sale is. So I jumped on the bandwagon and I decided to buy myself a six quart crock pot. It's just one of those dial ones. I do have a digital one. It's the exact same color. <coughs> Excuse me. So I just got it delivered like two minutes ago. My trailer is not done yet. We have the refrigerator and the stove and a microwave that I've been cooking off of or from. But I decided I was going to do slow cooked um, because this is what our whole house looks like at this point. The whole thing, you can see all the way down the hall. That in there is the spare bedroom and then there's another room beyond that which is a small little bathroom and then another room beyond that which is our storage slash laundry room. And then back here, I'm not sure. I mean, you can see all the boxes, all the insulation. Our bedroom is back there. He just got done insulating, and he's not home today. He had some things to do with a friend. So, Kroger, y'all, $40 for this crock pot. All right. Then, from Kroger, I got my husband two different kinds of kettle chip potato chips, jalapeno. I don't think he's ever had the Kroger brand. So, I got him a bag of that. And then I got him a bag of the regular Lay's kettle cooked potato chips. Even though he's got a bag in the cupboard, we still live in the camper. But I thought I would get you up to date. And then I got myself a bag of scoops. Scoops Fritos. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Then Today, we are going to be making chicken thighs, and I paid $7.58 chicken thighs in the slow cooker. I'm going to put the whole thing of chicken thighs in, and then another day, we're going to have chicken chili, so I got this one. For six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Then we got some frozen peas and carrots. And I think one bag will do enough, but I bought two bags of frozen peas and carrots to go in with the chicken. And I'm trying to get it here frozen peas and carrots carrots then you guessed it if you don't know what it is that I'm making for dinner tonight it is chicken and biscuits in the crock pot I got me some jumbo buttermilk biscuits they were three for four dollars So I got three cans of that. This is hard to do with one hand, I'm telling you. Three cans and 
because I'm also going to make things with the biscuits. Then I bought three packs of white chili, white chicken chili seasoning. I thought I had some, and I probably do. It's probably around here somewhere, but white chicken seasoning. It's not going to be exactly white chicken, though, because I like mine with some other stuff. Then I got the Fritos, so you could either have the Frito scoops with your chili or the chili cheese Fritos. So I got a small bag of that. Then one can of this. I have three cans, but one can of it is for dinner tonight to go with the chicken. And I'm thinking of adding the diced uh, tomatoes with the chilies in with this to give it a little pop. Not sure yet because, you know, no salt added. I got three cans of that. No tell. Rotel. Not no tell. Rotel. And then there's another can of the chicken or cream of celery. I have cream of chicken in my pantry. There's the other can. So there's your three cans. Then I got a low sodium tomato juice. Because what I'm thinking about doing is taking the one can of diced tomatoes with the chilies. A package of this, some, um, about a half a thing of the low sodium tomato, the chicken, and some navy beans, salt, pepper, and all the other stuff. Maybe not some salt, but the pepper and all the other stuff that goes in it. And I have some fresh cilantro that I got from Misfit Market, which the next time I'll, I get some, I will show you all. What else did I get? Oh, I got six cans of Rotel and three cans of cream of celery. Yep. All the rest in here is Oh, okay. All the rest of you here is just the cream of celery. Like I said, I have the cream of chicken in my cupboard. And then, y'all, today I got my King Arthur flour. I bought 15 pounds of self-rising flour. You don't need to see that. You all know what that is. I bought myself a donut pan uh, to be making some homemade donuts so Sally's going to be trying her hand at that and I bought some citric, citric acid because I saw some recipes that had to deal with that then I bought what is called lemon pure paste and it's like well I can't really open it oh let's see well it's not a paste but it does have the smell of pure lemons oh and the flooring that you see no it's not staying that way I am getting a completely different floor. All right, we bought from King Arthur today. We got cranberry orange muffin mix, but I want it for the bread aspect. So I got two of those. I got country blueberry muffin mix. One of those. 
and I got lemon raspberry muffin mix. One of those. And ugh, donut mix. The uh, buttermilk donut mix. One of those. You already heard about the lemon. And Argentine bread flour. Because I plan on making some. Now this one I cannot pronounce. Semolina. 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 Whatever. Flour. I hear it's good for making like dinner rolls and stuff like that. And then of course my... 15 pounds of uh, self-rising flour and then some measuring spoons. I got me some measuring spoons and these are heavy y'all. Heavy, heavy measuring spoons. I saw them. They were on sale. Why not? This is one of the drinks that came in the Misfit Market. It's aloe. It's hay aloe. Mandarin orange. Active plus. It's not bad. Everything is plant based. Or. Uh, vegan. Or something. In their stuff. This month. Or this week. I ordered zucchini. Onions. Um, instead of going to the market every week, I order this. And I order what I want. Like, I got myself, I got my husband some oatmeal raisin cookies. And they're gluten free. So that's good for me. Because my stomach acts up with some gluten. And they're not bad. They're actually pretty good. They got a little bit of a molasses taste to them. On the last box I got, I got some almond floured pumpkin muffin and bread mix. So the box got smushed from all the vegetables being on it, but hey, whatever. And I got my dishwasher, it's behind me, but that is it y'all i just wanted to come on here and to show you the crock pot go to your local kroger's get yourself a crock pot for forty dollars as if you need one i'm telling you i'm going to be using mine i gotta go rinse it off and get all the dust and stuff out of it and go to work talk to y'all later peace y'all